As we take a walk today through this pasture, you'll notice that we have to try to bit of this really tall grass sitting in here. It's late summer and it's it's green right now, but pretty soon this grass that we're looking at is getting ready to turn a really bright burnt shade of brown. And what we're looking at today is sage grass. Uh, it's one of those the uh, the bane of existence for a lot of uh, pasture producers. And it's because of the type of grass and what it does, but also the indicators of what's actually going on in soil fertility, which is such an important part. If you'll look as we start to pull in of what sage grass is, sage grass has got a, a very long, long stem. It's very stiff, but if you'll what's, see what's lacking, is we, we come down in here, we'll see that there's not a whole lot of fodder or leaf material for this grass. So if you were an animal grazing, you would be having to reach down through this really tough, stiff grass to get all the way down to where the few little leaf parts are at. So as far as grazing in our pastures, it's a very poor quality grass to graze. But what's the bigger consideration is, what does sage grass going in your pasture uh, consider? So there's two things. Uh, one's kind of old farmer's tale is that it means that you have very soil fertility and that it, that could be potentially true. It's not always the exact science that if you have sage grass that you have a pH below 6.0, which we consider the ideal growing pH for our, uh, a lot of our cool season, warm season grasses. But it can be a pretty good indicator. The second thing is the sage grass is a competition grass. It doesn't like competition. So when we have hot dry months like we had this past summer, other grasses start to fade back and this grass takes the opportunity to fill in the gaps. So if you're looking to get rid of sage grass, which doesn't provide a whole lot to your pasture, you can look at opportunities to reseed and also look at doing some soil analysis to make sure that you have the right pH. Because if you have the right pH, you're giving your other grasses a better chance to grow.